In this short video, I will walk you through the basic turning formulas for cutting speed, spindle speed, surface finish, and much more. Hello everybody, Erez here from the Machining Doctor website, and my task is to make your professional life easier. So without further ado, let's jump right into the matter. Let's start with cutting speed. Cutting speed is the relative linear velocity between the tip of the turning insert and the workpiece. It is the product of the rotation speed of the workpiece, which is the spindle speed, by the circumference at the insert's tip. Since the circumference equals pi times the diameter, the formula for Vc is n times pi times d. Pay attention to the words insert's tip. In external turning, the diameter you need to use in the formula is smaller than the workpiece diameter and equals the OD minus 2 times the depth of cut. But in internal turning, it is the opposite and equals the ID plus 2 times the depth of cut. Lastly, we have to factor the result to match the VC units. So, to get the cutting speed in meters per minute, the final formula is N times pi times D divided by 1000. To get the result in SFM, you just need to swap the 1000 with 12. Moving on to spindle speed calculation. The turning inserts catalog, or our experience, tells us the cutting speed for a given application. On the other hand, the CNC lathe is limited by its maximum spindle speed. Therefore, we commonly need to compute the spindle speed out of a given cutting speed to ensure that the speed we want to run at is within the machine's limit. The same formulas used for the cutting speed are used here. We only need to solve the previous equation for n, which gives us 1000 or 12, depending on the unit, times Vc, divided by pi times d. The next formula we will study is for metal removal rate, or MRR, as it is usually called. MRR is measured in cubic inches, or cubic centimeters per minute and indicates how much material is machined in one minute under a set of cutting conditions. And it equals the product of the feed rate, depth of cut, and cutting speed. It is used for two purposes. Comparing the productivity between two scenarios, and for calculating the required machining power. The formulas for metric units is Vc, times F, times AP. In imperial units the same is multiplied by 12. Next, we will look at the formula for the machining time of one turning pass. Since the feed for turning is expressed in distance per one full spindle rotation, the linear speed in the feed direction, Vf, is the product of the feed rate and the spindle rotation speed. Vf equals n times f, and the cutting time equals the length divided by Vf. However, in most cases, we know the cutting speed, not the spindle speed. If we substitute n with the spindle speed formula from the beginning of the video, we get the final formula for the time in minutes. For metric units, it is L times pi times d divided by 1000 times f times vc. If the cutting data is in imperial units, substitute 1000 with 12. The last formula we will explore is for surface finish, which depends on the feed rate and corner radius. A lower feed rate improves the surface finish, as does a larger corner radius. The formula for RA in metric units is 46 times the feed rate squared divided by the corner radius. For imperial units, you should substitute 46 with 31,675. You should pay attention to these two important notes. The feed rate is squared in the formula, and therefore, has a more significant influence. When you need to improve the surface quality, start by reducing the feed. The second thing you must be aware of is that this formula estimates the best theoretical surface finish at optimal conditions. The actual surface quality depends on additional factors such as stability and tool wear. So that's it for today. I hope you found the video informative and helpful. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. See you on the next one. Bye.